the power of being thankful. Awaking upwards of being a disciple. Living at peace. Peace is one of the important elements to enjoy in your life. A life of frustration and struggle, a life without peace, is a result of focusing on the things you can't anything about. When you worry about the things beyond your control, stress and anxiety begin to creep into your life. The Apostle Paul said, The anxious be anxious to nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be known to God and peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your, guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6-7 Once we realize we are struggling with something and feel upset, we need to start praying and immediately turns the situation over to God. Thankful, He will provide according to His will and offer peace. You and I are not called to be a life of frustration and struggle. Jesus came so we could have righteousness, joy, and peace. Prayer of Thanks Father, I am grateful for peace. It is a wonderful gift that you have given me. And I ask for your help to always be peaceful in every situation. Peace I leave you, my peace I gave you, I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, do not be afraid. John 14, 27 The Holy Gospel Jesus comports his disciples. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may with where I am. You know that the way to the place where I am going. Jesus, the way to find. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can I, we know the, the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. If you really know me, you will know my fathers as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip, Lord, show us the Father and will be enough for us. Jesus answered, don't you know me, Philip, even after I have been among you such a long time? Anyone who has sent me has seen the Father. Who can see, show us the Father. Don't you believe that I am in the Father, and that the Father is with me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me, who is doing his work. Believe me when I see that I am in the Father, and the Father is me or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, whoever believers in me will do works I have been doing, and they will do even greater than this, because I am going to the Father, and I will whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in his Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Jesus promised the Holy Spirit. If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and He will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The Spirit of truth, the world cannot accept Him, because it neither sees Him nor knows Him, but you know Him, for He lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as an orphan, I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see in me anymore, but you will see me, because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. Then Judah said, But Lord, 
Why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. The words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken will I still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I believe with you, my peace I gave you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You heard me say, I am going away and I am coming back to you. If you love me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I have told you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, well, you will believe. I will not see such more to you, for the prince of this world is coming. He has no hold over me. But he comes so that the world may I learn that I love the Father, has commanded me, Come now, let us live.